So in today's video, I'm going to take the standard clamshell lighting or what others may call the butterfly lighting for portraits, but use them for full body shots. Hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So welcome again to my small home studio. And for you guys who are new to the channel, this is basically a very small shooting area. This is only about two meters wide and 3.5 meters deep. And today I am still gonna be doing a full body portrait. However, I might have to extend a little just to be able to get a really nice full body shot without any distortion. What I have here are actually two backdrops from Kate Backdrop. They're five foot by seven foot hand painted backdrops that I just mounted on basically background holders. And these are auto poles, the ones holding the background holders. And we just have one light stand here. The flooring is also a printed vinyl flooring from Kate Backdrop. And the lights that I will be using are these two. This is the Photix Raja 60 by 90 softbox and it's mounted on the Photix Cerberus with a Sony F60RM installed. And I have another light here. This is the Photix Deep Raja 60, again with a Photix Cerberus and another Sony F60RM. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one here. This one will serve as our overhead light. Have it above here. And we will have this one just on the floor and put it right here, okay? So with those two light setups or those two lights set up, it's time to talk about my camera, okay? So the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7R Mark IV with a 50 millimeter 1.2 GM lens. Now, normally I could actually shoot a full body portrait with a 35 millimeter, but the longer focal length that I can use, the better it is for me because it, it removes that problem of distortion. So a 50 millimeter is okay. I decided to move a little bit further than my normal shooting area, maybe a bit, a one meter away, but that's okay. Now my settings are one over 250 F4 ISO 100. The reason why I did that is because of this. If I turn off my trigger, oh, by the way, the trigger that I'm using is my Sony WRC-1M, which remotely controls both my Sony F60 here and my Sony F60 there, which are both set, uh, which this one is set on group A and this one is set on group B. So I can control the power individually. Now, the nice thing about the Sony WRC-1M also is a TTL, since it is a TTL trigger, the moment I turn it on, it actually disables live view. But in reality, what my camera is seeing is just this, it's pitch black. So that's why my settings are like that because I wanted to remove all existing ambient light. So one over 250 is my flash sync speed, F4, ISO 100. You can see me looking here because I have an external recorder connected to my camera. This is the Atomos Ninja V, which then allows me to show you guys a live view of everything that I am shooting. So basically everything that you will see from here on end is straight out of the camera. In other words, no editing has been done. Okay, so now let me turn on my flash. Let's check my white balance. My white balance is set at 5600 Kelvin because these two lights are daylight balancer 5600 Kelvin. Now my flash power to begin with, my group A is at one half power. This one is at one fourth power. So it's about one fourth power difference between the two, which we can adjust later, all right? So with all those settings out of the way, I think it's time for me to call in my wife who will be my model for today. Babe, come on in. Oh, by the way, my wife's name is Coco. Babe, come on in. Hi, babe. Hi. Babe. And of course, you look beautiful. Thank you very much, our friend Mela Jimenez, for virtually assisting Coco put on her makeup for today. 
So let's do this. Let us actually turn off group B to show you what group A is doing. You don't have to do anything yet there, okay? So I'll just take one test shot like this. That's what group A is doing. Now, let me turn off, oh, uh, well, let me turn on group B and turn off group A and show you what group B is doing and that is the light that's coming from below. So the beautiful thing about shooting basically with this, let me join my wife here first because I kind of missed her too. The beautiful thing about shooting with this one and this one, a clamshell lighting for full body portraits instead of just one big light, it's number one, I can control where this one is going, which is basically somewhere here. And at the same time, this one will illuminate the floor and well, her shoes right now. So for, for you to be able to have two lights like this, it's very easy to control. Plus you get a little bit of that glamour glow, which we were trying to do for today. All right, so let's start shooting. All right, babe, let's have fun. <clears throat> uh, can you count? Okay, on the count. One, two, three, go. Oops, sorry, my bad. Okay. Oh, so you wanted the, the like, yeah, all just, right. This girl. Okay. 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 One, two, three, go. Oops, oh. sorry. <laughs> my bad. Okay, okay. All right. One, two, three, go. Oh, there. That's perfect. All right. That's one more. How about when you do that tiptoe? Oh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Some more? Tiptoe some more. Okay, cool. On the count. One, two, three, go. Oh, I missed it, but it's so pretty good. One more. One, two, three, go. It's actually very nice. And one last. Let's get try to get the skirt higher. Very nice. One, two, three, go. And last, sorry. One. We usually have our timings correct, but since this is a new post, I don't have my timing spot on yet. All right. One, two, three, go. Well, see? <laughs> That's my problem. <laughs> That's my yeah. Shouldn't shouldn't go and go. All right. On the count. One, two, three, go. And one last. That's very nice. One, two, three, go. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. You went after go. All right. Anticipate the go. One, two, three, go. Okay. And I got it too close. One last. I think this one is gonna be perfect now. One. Two, three, go. <laughs> you let go on three. <laughs> all right, that's all right. One more, one more, one more. Okay. One, two. Oh, your foot is a bit too pointed. There, that's it. One, two, three, go. Oops. My bad. Yeah. Something wrong with the light. The light's also, the light's playing with us too. All right. And one final shot. Okay. One, two, three, go. And final. That's actually very nice, but I want one for safety. One, two, three, go. That's very nice. It looks like your skirt's a bell. Yes. All right. right. It's not. It's not like a mushroom. It's a bell. Yes. That's right. Very nice. Okay. So I hope. You guys enjoyed this video and just to recap basically this is your normal clamshell lighting or butterfly li lighting as what others may call it in other words you've got your main light which is this one which is above and directly below it is you have another light that's facing upward so it's like a clam or a butterfly and the thing that that this does is that it basically just removes all the shadows and gives a very nice glamour glow to the subject so i hope baby enjoy this i hope you like the pictures and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, if you have any questions with regards to this setup, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And for you guys who want to learn a little bit more about off-camera flash photography, I do hold one-on-one -on -one online workshops, the details of which I'll put again in the description below. And if you want to see more of my images or more of the images that I've taken of Coco, you could always follow me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. Okay, till the next video.